Hi there, this is Simi Aurora and welcome to my channel Smile with Simi. I work with a lot of people and helping them create their power mindset, heart set and physical set in order for them to create the life that they really, really want. And right now I'm going to talk about how I overcame my fear of panic attacks. So panic attacks are really, really scary. And if some of you who know what exactly that is, then you can really understand that if you had consistent panic attacks, you build up the fear of having them again. And in my life a few years ago, I hit a rock bottom where I was emotionally and mentally very weak. I came to this new country, I got married and I got divorced in a very short period of time. So it was too much of emotional disturbance in my life, mental disturbance and so many negative self-sabotaging feelings like uh, hatred, guilt, anger and so much of you know regret about so many things that I thought at that time I could have done in a better way. So a lot of time our failures or uh, things which are very challenging in nature can put us um, in a situation where we get emotionally and mentally very um, weak or we have too much of pressure and mental stress going on and sometimes our brain collapses. So my brain collapsed and it was like, hey girl, you're putting a lot of pressure on it, so just uh, take the, the action back from me. So I started getting anxiety and panic attacks and consistent panic attacks and uh, it was the scariest thing in my life because I was alone and I had nobody around me and I used to call 911 and the symptoms were so scary that I literally thought many times that I'm gonna die or I'm gonna have a heart attack and nobody's gonna ever uh, find me or you know it's just going to be really really scary because my parents were in India and were like oh my goodness this is scary and a lot of times I went to the emergencies and um, um, you know got like the uh, necessary treatment or drip or stuff like that so it happened quite a number of times but since I was living alone and I was under antidepressants um, it was just the fear of panic coming up again and again and that was that is like a big trap uh, I really don't know if you know the symptoms of panic if you are new to this and you heard this for the first time um, it's just like kind of um, mixed feelings happening in one time you uh, your heart is beating really fast and uh, you have hot and cold flashes you're sweating profusely you're dizzy and you might have diarrhea or you feel nausea so I had all of these symptoms in the short span of like I would say three to four minutes so sometimes it has gone uh, beyond that time period as well so the point is that it is scary like hell and it is a lot of it is because you have not um, uh, done right work for your mind and you have not taken care of your emotional and mental health and you are moving in a flow of life and not really stopping and giving it a pause and understanding what's going on and what should be done in order for you to remain stress-free and confident and positive and happy. And that is also one of the reasons of me leading towards empowerment coaching after my recovery. But I will talk about that journey in a separate video. But right now, I'm just going to focus on what did I do to let that fear go out of my system and became panic free. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers here. And I really want you to apply in your life if you're the one who goes through not only the panic, maybe just over stress um, and anxiety in your life. And, you know, these pointers, these tips are really going to help you deeply. So... Uh, the first point is about meditation and I know this is this is something you've heard many times and this is something that a lot of people find uh, difficult as well but meditation doesn't mean like you have to be religious or you have to follow a certain organization it's nothing like that it's just basically concentrating your mind onto a specific thing onto a specific thought which disconnects you from other noises all right so if you let's say have a consistent thought of anything bad happening or uh, you know you're thinking too much about your work or you're thinking too much about your broken relationship or you have emotional pain whatever it is going on in your system guided meditation can help you disconnect from that and that is very important for your brain because your brain needs that recovery your brain needs to feel at ease 
and you're putting too much of pressure on your brain because you're continuously uh, emotionally charged and producing all those hormones like cortisol, which is a stress hormone in your body, which not only affects your mental health, but also your physical health. So guided meditations, you'll find tons of them on YouTube. So many of them, I'm gonna leave some of the links right here as well. Uh, but if you go online and write down guided, guided meditation, doesn't matter which language you speak and which language you hear, you can find guided meditation in every, every, every language. So use that because it's a great tool. I have used that a lot, especially before going to bed and sometimes in the daytime as well. Second point is pranayama breathing exercises. Oh my God, this is a big one and I cannot thank enough to the YouTube and many gurus in India and other parts of the world to really specify that simple exercise which has profound effect on your brain and your mental and emotional health. Especially the five different types of pranayam, Bhastrika, Kapal Bhati, Anulom Vilom, Brahmari, and Om Ucharan, which is Om Mantra. So if you do these five for even 20 minutes in your day, you will see that your awareness level goes really up. You are suddenly very, very peaceful and calm and your whole system feels so relaxed and so powerful and so good. It is one of those stages in my life where I felt that I was totally centered and it helped me really de-stressing myself at a deeper level. And if you have uh, some affirmations, if you want to focus on certain things that you want to manifest in your life and make it happen in, into reality, breathing exercises is the tool that can connect you with the universal powers and invoke the law of attraction. So do pranayama breathing again, too many videos on YouTube, find out the one that you like and start to do the breathing exercises. Third point is about uh, very important workouts or yoga and i always emphasize on it because exercise is the biggest tool for your mental health it doesn't even make your look, body look great or you look great it affects your mental health because it straight away produces endorphins in your brain which are the happy hormones it produces serotonin in your brain which uh, is your mood uh, stabilizer so you need to have these hormones in order for you to have a great mental health and stay away from too much anxiety and stress Make sure you take out some time and do work out because it's essential, essential, essential for your life. And even if you are not like a you know weight trainer or you don't like cardio, just do yoga because yoga is the supreme exercise for anti-anxiety because it focuses on the breath and the, when you are in the asanas, you're breathing very deeply and exhaling very deeply as well. It, provides a tons of oxygen to your brain and it helps you becoming really really relaxed so use it please and the fourth and the most important thing which changed my life entirely and take me out of this anxiety patterns and made me anxiety and stress free and panic free is about getting attached to something bigger than yourself or in simpler words finding your purpose you know why we get anxious and stressed because we're just thinking that things are not going in the way we want them to go um, you know, you had a breakup, you got divorced, you had uh, your boss not liking you, you don't like few things about yourself. There could be many different things one can get anxious about, right? But the thing is, when you are so bound within yourself and you're just in this small little zone, in this small cocoon of just focusing on yourself and it's just kind of really um, putting you in a box, right? And then become stressful because you're always thinking about yourself and always thinking what didn't go right in my life. But when you are looking around and when you see other people and when you define your uh, purpose in accordance to your abilities and are trying to impact other people's life as well by doing whatever, even if you are selling goods, right? Even if you're selling services, are you thinking more about their benefit or your benefit, right? There's a small little gesture, small little virtues that we, when we built in our own system and we become more giving and we get attached to a purpose which is larger than ourselves, suddenly our power increases because human brain is wired for happiness and power. What exactly that means is that when I think that I am useful, when I think I'm powerful and when I think that I'm impacting somebody's life in a positive way, 
it just kind of makes me feel uplifted. It makes me feel happier. And this is what we are designed for, right? So our, our um, victimness is in, it, it, it comes in when we focus too much on ourselves. So when we sort of focus on a purpose which is larger than ourselves, it suddenly shifts. Your power becomes immense. You become much more energetic because you feel that you are very useful. And when we have that kind of feeling, it just kind of uh, makes us more happy and more energetic. So try to engage yourself with others around you. Whatever profession you are in, there's a possibility of extending a hand which gives them positivity, which uh, gives other people a sense of happiness. And you will see the happiness in your life will just blossom or maybe explode because it's the law of attraction. What do you give, you get back. So once I started to do empowerment coaching and I started my, um, you know, my company, my website, and uh, you know, started to talk about the great things, the way I did my journey of empowerment that impacted my own life and transformed my life, I started to feel that I was helping others too. And it just kind of opens the doors of my mind and I was like, wow, I mean, why am I even getting stressed and panicked? Because I can do so much for the world and that is more important to me. And I found out my purpose and that's where my anxiety left me. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't get anxious. Everybody gets anxious and worried and stressed at times because we are humans and we are always, you know, around so much of chaos and stimulus. It's natural to get, you know, a lot of anxiety. But, this, but the important thing is not to stay there. And this sense of awareness can only come in once you are first of all aware that you need to take care of your life, you need to take care of your mind, and you need to do the things that your brain doesn't get stressed up. And so you can really focus on the things which are important to you and build a very happy life for yourself. So I think these four tips are useful and they were useful in my life and I hope they are useful to you as well. And if you are going through some sort of stress and anxiety, please implement them. They do have 100% proven result and not only in my life, a lot of my clients' life as well, because this is the way your brain works and this is the way your life works. So please use them, take the benefit, and also spread the message. I really want you to share this video because this, this is a powerful uh, message and we are in this social media world where we can really empower other people's life as well. So please share this message and uh, give other people a lot of encouragement and support who are going through any sort of panic or anxiety in their problem in their life. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and like the video and leave your feed feedback and comments and I will certainly get back to you and reply uh, to as many as I can. Thank you very much again for watching this video. You can see more videos um, right here in my channel and they're equally empowering and equally positive. Take care of yourself.